Hey everyone, this week we're talking about packing light for a photography adventure. So as you watch this video, I'll just be getting back from my holiday in California. I will have been to San Francisco, Yosemite National Park, Sequoia National Park, and then all the way back up the Pacific Coast, stopping at Monterey, Big Sur, Santa Cruz, and all of those great places before getting back to San Francisco. But I'm filming this before I leave. So I'm really excited, I can't wait to go. And what I wanna talk about today is how I'm packing my bag to take all the equipment that I need, but without being too heavy, because I want to get everything into my hand luggage. I don't wanna put stuff in my whole luggage, obviously it'll be going under the plane, I won't see it again till I get there. Don't trust that at all. So I want to get it into my hand luggage, but it means I'm gonna to have to make some sacrifices. I can't be carrying really heavy gear, or really large gear, and I can't take too much. So this is the bag I'm gonna be taking. It's the Vanguard VO 34M. It's really small and compact. It's a shoulder style bag, but it does fit all of the stuff that I need. And just before we get into the bag, I'll talk about these things I've got dangling on the front. This is actually a multi-tool that came with my free-legged thing Winston tripod. It's got an Allen key on there and a little screwdriver device, which I can use to remove the L bracket from my camera. And I've also got on there a small compass just in case I find myself not knowing which direction I'm facing, if I'm scouting out a location, for example, and I want to know which direction the sun's gonna rise or set. So that can be quite useful. So in the side at the bottom of this bag, we've got a compartment which will fit a travel tripod. So that's really, really useful. And this is a Vanguard tripod as well. So it perfectly fits into that compartment. So this is a Vanguard VOGO 2 265CB carbon fibre tripod. It's really lightweight and as you can see it folds up to a really compact size but it does open up and extend to about 145 centimetres tall so that's not bad for a travel tripod and it is really sturdy as well so this has served me really well if you've watched any of my previous videos you will have seen me use this before and that's great that it fits so neatly into the bottom of the bag. So next up we'll take a look at what lenses I've brought. If I open up the top part of the bag, in here I've got the Nikko Z 24-200mm to millimeters Z lens. So I've talked about this before in a previous video, I'll put a link up top to that. It really really is so versatile. It's going to cover everything from landscape shots to wildlife and that's going to be my main lens for the trip I think. I've also got the Z7 camera itself in here with the L bracket attached to it so I can get it on the tripod. And it's really good that it fits into the bag with the L bracket attached, I don't have to keep taking that on and off. I've also got on here the Nikko Z 14-30mm f4 lens. That's a really really great lens, it's really sharp, it is an S-line lens but because it's the f4 version it's not huge, it will fit in the bag and it's still going to get all the landscape shots I need because I don't need a really wide aperture for landscape shots. And finally, I've got the 28mm Nikko Z lens. I talked about this in a recent video. Again, I'll put a link up top to that if you haven't seen it. This is going to be for walking around in San Francisco. I'm going to try and get some street shots with this. I wanted something that was small, light, compact and inconspicuous. And I think this ticks all those boxes. It's really sharp. I'm hoping it's gonna get some great shots. So that's all the lenses and camera gear. I will also be taking cleaning stuff. I've got a lens pen. I'll be taking cleaning cloths. I'll have spare batteries in here. They're not in there at the moment, but things like that. I've also got a 67 millimeter polarizing filter to go on the 24 to 200 millimeter Z lens. And I'll probably also take a 67mm ND filter, probably uh, an ND64 to go on the 24-200 as well. And that's about it. That's all I'll be taking. But I think that'll cover me for most situations. And it really does help you to narrow down what you're going to be taking. It focuses your mind on the shots, the kind of shots that you're going to be able to take. So I know that I want to get some city shots in San Francisco. I know obviously I want to take some great, hopefully, landscape shots in Yosemite and Sequoia. So these are the lenses that I think will cover those bases. 
And it's also nice not to be having to carry around all that gear. It frees you up to move around a bit more and get some better shots sometimes. So that can be really useful. But it is good to have the versatile lenses such as the Super Zoom 24-200mm that covers so many focal lengths in one lens. And also the 14 to 30. I've got everything there from 14 through to 200 millimeters. And then just having the really, really small and light 28 millimeter that just completes everything that I need. But that's about it for this video. Nice and short and sweet. It is back to the usual format next week when I'll be showing the first of those California videos. So make sure you tune in next week for that. If you watch every week, big thanks. And if you are new to the channel and you're not yet subscribed and you'd like to do so, you can click down there on the big red button or over here on my face. And that way you'll keep up to date with everything I'm doing each and every week. There's a new video every Sunday morning at 10 a.m. UK time. So I hope you'll join me next week for the next one. But until then, thanks a lot everyone and bye for now.